Hello YouTube, this is Killer Cowboy again, and this is my second Morpheus Photomorpher tutorial. Okay, as you can see here, there are instructions on how to get the program I'm using right now, completely free, fully registered and cracked, and they'll be in the description bar. Okay? Now, what we're doing today, upon request from someone who emailed me in regards to my last tutorial, we're going to do multiple morphs today. First thing you do, hit File, New Layout. Okay, that'll bring this up. See how down here it says Morph 1, Morph the starting and ending pictures? Okay, what you want to do is hit Add Morph. That gives you two morphs. Notice there are three pictures here. What you want to do is click on this, right click it, hit Load Picture, find your picture, so on and so forth, basically the same you did with your other morphs, but you've got three pictures in this one. Okay? Now, I've got a dog, a cat, and a ferret. Now, the way you start is you start out with your first morph. Now, this is a little more complicated than the single morph. Once again, oh yeah, you got to remember, you got to go over here to Timeline, go to Options, Render Direction, both ways, that way you can see what it looks like both directions. Okay. Now, just click OK there. Now you're going to want to keep your preview playing. Okay. That way you can see what you're doing. I usually hit that so it's a little bigger. But alright. What you want to do is, as I said before, you're going to want to zoom in to a point where things are going to look relatively the same. Okay. You come up here, you click Add Dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right now we're doing the noses of all three animals. Okay? That's the easiest way to do it. You can move all the dots to a place where you can easier work with them by doing that. You move them down that way. Okay? There we go. Now you hit move dots and you can proceed to move them so that they look a little bit better. Okay. You're, po you're creating points of commonality here. If you remember correctly from the last tutorial, I recommend you watch the last one before you watch this one because it gives you some of the basics on the program. And if you notice, the cat's nose and the ferret's nose start to morph together. But you haven't even gotten to the dog picture yet. The easiest way to do this is to do them all together. Now, to get to the morph between the ferret and the dog, you double click where it says Morph 2. See? Now you can select dots, move this bunch of dots down closer to the nose, you click on it, and you zoom in. You scroll, use your scroll bar to zoom in on the picture so you can really see what you're doing, and then you can make things look a little better. Now, remember, like I said, this is kind of a science more than an art, so you'll get used to it after a while. If your first few morphs don't come out very good, don't get angry. Just keep trying. With a little practice, you can become really, really good at this. Okay? But that's your basics. Remember what I said, you want to make sure you get all three of them at the same time. Add more dots. We're going to do the eyes now. You hit move, you can zoom in, okay? I'm just going to do one dot here for that. We'll move it down with Mr. Ferret here so it's right in the middle of his eye. Then you double click here, you move it down so it's right in the middle of his eye. As you can see, it gives you a basic idea. Now, instead of going through this whole tutorial and showing you where to put dots and everything, I've already got another Morpheus tutorial. You can figure that out from that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of the uh, samples. Okay. If I can remember where they are. Let's see. We'll go... We'll find them. Hold on. Yes, I have a ton of 
programs on my computer, I do apologize. Okay, there's the samples. Alright, now we're going to do um, the grades one. This is a really long, multiple timeline here, but if you notice, if you watch over here in the preview, all these pictures took a very long time to do. But this is the one that the gentleman or female, I can't tell really much by the names, I don't, I'm sorry, but this is the ones that they asked me about, like basically age progression in the photos. That's how you do it. You get all these pictures down here at the bottom, down here, and it shows you the age progression as you go along. Okay, now that's the end of that. <coughs> and once again, as you can see, there are instructions on how to get this program fully cracked, registered, full version in the description. Okay, I will show you how to do that in the description. I'll even give you links if you want. And that's pretty much it. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to deal with me and listen to this. And you have a great day. Please comment and rate.